how would you describe yourself? I am a teenage girl. I'm also a soccer player. I'm also an artist. I'd like to think I'm funny. I love hanging out with my friends. I'm also transgender, and I'm proud of that. You can't be both at the same time. There's no such thing, okay? Calm down. You're not a girl, okay? You are a boy who's been given a narrative as a young child, and now you have substitution body expression syndrome. And we must talk in this kind of reality. <laughs> but for the show, you know, <laughs> they had eight seasons of this, eight seasons of this performance. And we're waiting for season nine because we know what's coming because the show's not canceled. Everybody that your body wants to go into. So, so like, and this, this is like the first episode anyway of this whole situation and <laughs> my, my, my. So they're, they talk in the beginning about, you know, how jazz was, they realized that jazz was a girl because jazz kept taking off, um, kept unsnapping the onesies. Yeah, the onesies and would unsnap them and just wear them like as a dress. So therefore, jazz was a girl, you know. And then later on, jazz said that, you know, at the age of two, that jazz wanted to get new genitalia. genitalia. The fairy princess was going to bring new genitalia for jazz. So, you know, I mean, something around the, the lines of that, right? So it's just, I mean, and and then the diagnosis was that jazz pointed to a doll, a girl doll, and said, that's what I want to be. At the age, of, I think, three three years old. And so then we knew for sure that, that all of this had to happen. And then beginning, when you're watching, like, of course, the first season, it's like, okay, we're taking a little bit of estrogen, puberty blockers or whatever, like, all right, cool, whatever, right? But as time goes on, it can't be the same thing forever. And so that's another reason why you could just tell, like, the final, final, the final, you know, uh, change, the the one that you can't, the permanent change, it had to be done for ratings. It had to be done. Wow. Don't limit your options. There could be like a thousand bathing suits there. I'm mostly skinny everywhere, except that I have broad shoulders and then I have like extra, because all my fat goes to my stomach. Why can't I go to- Yeah, when you're on um, a certain medication, that does that's exactly where it goes. Yeah. My butt and my boobs. I always wanted to make sure that, you know, I looked like any other girl. I remember when I was two or three years old and I had a nightmare that these giant mustaches and beards were chasing me around and they wanted to attach to my face. And I remember running up to my mom. I told her and she said, don't worry, that's never going to happen. I'm never going to let that happen to you. Well, yo, man, how long these people... It's a funny thing. The last time I spoke to Jazz... Wait a minute. How long have these people been performing? Yo, I didn't know the, like, I get that they perform. That, I, I remember when I was two or three, what is it? Did, did she, two or three years old, and these giant beards and mustaches were chasing me around, and I told my mom, and my mom said, that's never going to happen to me. I thought Jazz was getting ready to tell the, the genitalia story. You remember, the, yo, are you kidding me right now? So Jazz remembers this, this, uh, dream that is hilarious wow okay wow i don't even know how to put this into words drop a comment below tell me how you guys feel about that in fact this if this is your first time here please consider it in the subscribe button you know we really go into the jazz's show okay you know what i'm gonna actually answer a couple comments like right here two things number one we go into jazz's show because jazz's family decided to take jazz and put a camera in front of jazz and give us all of this footage to talk about right and then they also say in these episodes that we don't want people to hear necessarily bad things when we do interviews, right? So we just want to talk about this as, as like roses and just like happy times, sunshines and roses, okay? Yeah, but because they decided to give us their life on television, yeah, I'm going to use it as commentary. I'm going to comment on it and discuss the parts that they act like is normal because we have to talk about this in reality. There are a lot of children, God bless them, they're, they're good kids. They're good kids and they're going through a time of insecurity. And some adult who is going to be, you know, 
targeting them for whatever new journal that came out, some new algorithm of how to check for kids who have problems, if you will, they're going to target that child and say, you were born in the wrong body. And that is a crazy thing to say to a, an 11 year old who doesn't understand the meaning of I have to love myself. Let's not act like people just know how to do things like that, like at 11, that you've never been insecure. And so they'll get those insecurities and then they'll put this child in a bad position. This situation is a little different because the mom did that. OK, so, yeah, that's why we do this here. OK. And then the other thing, because somebody said you keep stopping the videos, keep stopping the video. I have to stop the videos because if I get copyrighted. Nobody will see anything, okay? So that's why I, I, I mean, we're talking about it, okay? But the fact is we talk about this in reality. So if you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the notifications. Again, if you, at your discretion, right? But I do enjoy making these videos. And, and in fact, lastly, and I know I just like went on this whole rant, right? I can't talk to kids like this at work. I can't. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to. And there are so many kids out here who are hurting. They are hurting. So maybe one day somebody can see this and realize that you're worth it. You weren't born in the wrong body. You're just going through a lot of things. You're going through normal things. And if you just stay focused, God created you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, y'all know what? Hey. And you're worth it. And you'll make it through. I think it would just alleviate a lot. So yeah, this is where I come here to do that. Okay. <laughs> she wanted higher estrogen levels. Every time she asks the doctor, so more, more, how more. much can I have more? I'm not growing at the speed I want to grow. And she'll look and kind of a little behind her friends. Do they bring her along gradually? I really- They have to do it really gradually. There's a big medical component to being a transgender youth because you do want to avoid the puberty that your body wants to go into. So, so they're listening to the kids and saying, Jazz is saying, like, I want more boobs. I want more boobs. I want more, more, more estrogen. This is what they just told us. And, you know, they'll gradually increase the dosage. And then, then you get a person who, okay, got the more and more estrogen, but be ballooned up later on and had these huge breasts on a male. Okay. <laughs> Jazz started hormone blockers about three and a half years ago and then went on estrogen about two years ago. Jazz is developing nicely, like a young lady, like she should be. Not really, because um, Jazz, for Jazz's um, built, Jazz's size, the breasts were already getting kind of like extra big. And I can say this because, you know, if Jazz was like a little bigger, it would make sense. But Jazz really has, at that age, more of a petite young man's frame. But because of the estrogen, it isn't really as developing nicely like a young lady should or, or, or would. First of all, because Jazz is not a young lady. But anyway, the gut was getting bigger, you know, and then so were the boobs. So this is where the hormones, they do, that's where they react. So, and later on, we'll see how that development exactly, you know, the results of that developing nicely like a young lady should actually went. Have you noticed any changes lately? Well, she's gotten taller. Um, and she's definitely developing. She's starting to get, you know, bigger up top when she yeah. was. Does the Her doctor... breasts are blossoming. Wonderful. <laughs> now tell me, does the doctor carefully measure all these things? Yeah, that, I mean, they, uh, you know, I don't think he's like, grr, grr, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird dynamic. It just is like, it just isn't. You know what? Shout out to the person. Like, I do read the comments. So <laughs> somebody was like, you never see Greg's family like on the show. That is so true. That's so true. And I already know they probably were like, nope, no, it's just too much. No, no. How long does it take to get that blood work back on? Her? Um, the blood work is back. The doctor okay. will say, well, here's what's going on with mm -hmm. the blood. In a few days, you know, it's time to talk to the doctor. I want to know, you know, what's the testosterone level? How is that doing? If her testosterone levels are too high, she can start showing signs of secondary male characteristics like growing a beard or getting an Adam's apple. I don't want that to happen to her. She doesn't want that to happen. Yeah, I mean, it's scary. This is, you know, this is experimental stuff. Like I am messing with my I'm glad you know that. I'm glad you said that and I didn't have to, okay? Mark it. Jeanette said what we've been saying. 
this is experimental stuff and I'm experimenting with my kid's body. Yes, it is. And they're absolutely right. And you know what's even better about the body? The body knows when it's outside of homeostasis, it will compensate for that, as in it will release more. So now you have an issue here. I mean, nobody's talking about this, right? And look, where's the studies that show that? I don't do everything with a study. I don't. Because you can fudge numbers and do whatever with studies. I know from my training, from my, my learning, you know, like from the knowledge that's been given to me, praise the Lord, that when your body is lacking in something that it's supposed to have, it's going to try to produce more of it. So if you think about it, let's block this situation with the testosterone. And I do talk funny because YouTube will pick up some of these words and then they, they get weird. But so we'll block that, right? So now the body's actually going to start releasing even more testosterone, okay? And so now it's like, all right, let's give the estrogen. Now the body's really going to start trying to really, really release more testosterone. And so you have you end up playing the stack up game with trying to figure out how much estrogen to give. Eventually the body will stop doing that because it'll finally pick up and say that maybe this person doesn't need, you know, I, I don't know, something's happening and I can't keep compensating like this. So it'll stop, but there's a lot of estrogen and all that that has to keep going and there's more medication. You have to keep up in the doses. So that's where the lab work comes in to check to see where are these hormone levels at? So do we have to up the dose? What's going on? What's going to happen with that? That's what that's about. So, and then now here's the side effect of getting so much more estrogen to keep up with this wonderful development of being a great young lady. And then that estrogen is making this person hungry as a beast, right? And all, all of the fat ends up going into the girth of the, of the stomach and, oh, I have big boobs. It's not worth all of this. It's not. And we haven't even touched the mental health medications, right? But that's for another day. I have touched them on this channel, but not on this episode. But that's a whole other thing that could raise cortisol levels. I mean, it is a constant, um, just a unraveling of like, you know, of just mess. Mess on top of mess on top of mess. It is insane. And Jeanette had it right. This is experimental. I'm messing with my kid's body. And says it just like that and does not really sit down and let that marinate. But we're going to let that marinate over here. Like Jeanette really said that. Wow. I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.